Quiet Dell is about a real crime, a multiple murder committed in 1931 in a hamlet of the same name near my hometown in West Virginia. I've known the story all my life. When my mother was six years old, she held her mother's hand and walked along a crowded dirt road in the heat and dust of August, past a murder garage that crowds were taking apart, piece by piece, for souvenirs. Con man who called himself Harry Powers led a double life, courted wealthy middle-aged widows through matrimonial agencies, and plotted to kill them. He imprisoned and murdered an Illinois widow, Asta Eicher, her three children, and a Massachusetts divorcee, all of whom came to Quiet Dell willingly. The culture of the 1930s justified intense interest in the crime as a warning and lesson to women. The murderer was writing to over 200 women when he was arrested. The press called him a modern bluebeard. But what was the deeper story? Wyatt Dell looks back at a supposedly more innocent time, a Depression-era America in which newspapers and the printed word were still the lifeblood of the nation. The discovery of the murderer's true identity and his trial preoccupy a 35-year-old Chicago reporter, Emily Thornhill, who finds herself deeply involved in the story of the missing family, and especially with Annabelle, the fanciful youngest child. Throughout the novel, the photographs of local West Virginia photographer Floyd Sayre, taken at the scene and during the trial, underscore the reality of an almost mythical story.